Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, U.S. indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, December 15th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our live trades. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have pulled back quite a little bit today. We rallied and then gave some of those uh, gains back. So there was some bad news that probably uh, New York was going to lock down. And, and there has also been other news that, for example, Germany uh, has locked down. So that scare of what happened in April, May, where the whole country is basically locked down, that is having an effect. But we have quite a lot of support underneath. I don't think that we are going to see anything similar to this uh, anytime soon. At this point, 20 exponential is holding and uh, the probably the lowest this market will go is towards 3,600. That will be astro astronomical support at that point. If we break that, then of course we go significantly lower, but I don't think that we are going to see anything similar to that. At this point, we may see a pullback towards the 20 exponential. That's at 3,040 at this 3,640 at this point. So uh, a drop towards that is um, a buying opportunity at this point. If you look at technical indicators, we are quite overstretched in the RSI. So it would be good. Basically, we want to do enter a, a buying position in the in the S&P 500 if this fell. If this fell towards the 15, 55, something like that, that would be much less risk um, to take a, a bet on this market. If you look at the, as a, the MACD, it is currently trading um, negative. It's bearish at this point. Same for the stochastic, and so is the RSI, CCI. And so we most likely will see a little bit of pullback or just stay within this same range. But... 3,600 is most likely the floor in this market. If we break that, then we'll probably go towards the 50 and probably also the 100 level. If we take out these, this stock, you know, this um, these previous highs here, then we're heading towards 3,700 and 3,800 and beyond that. We can also go and look at the four, the 15 minute chart, the 4:30 and the one hour chart and the four hour chart and the four hour chart we can basically see that we are finding resistant here at the 20 exponential moving average quite a lot of resistant and as you can see if we fall towards this green line here which is the 40 exponential that is massive resistant and that is just at the just at the at the 3635 so just keep that in mind if you go towards the, in the four hour chart towards the 40 exponential moving average, then that is probably as low as this market is going. But at this point, we are finding quite a lot of um, support at the 20 exponential moving average. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So we have rallied yet again up towards this level here, and then we broke down again. So 30,319 is basically the top of this uh, of this index. But we are working in a very tight range here. I don't think that we are going to break significantly lower. So it's just a matter of time before we rally to the upside. So target here is uh, 40, uh, 41,000. And uh, we'll probably go to 31,500 if we break this previous highs. So if you look at the technical indicators for the Dow Jones, we can see that we are at 61. So we are quite far away from being overbought. Technical indicators otherwise are fairly uh, bearish at this point. MACD, Stochastic, and CCI are all uh, pointing to um, basically momentum to the downside. So we may go and head back towards the 20 exponential, and that is right at the at 29,700 and. 73 
So that is basically the floor in the Dow Jones. A break below that opens the door to the 40 exponential. That's at 29,200 or 300, give or take. And then we have the 50 right underneath at 28,900. I don't think that we're going to see those levels here. We're going to jump in between, build momentum in order to go higher. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ has rallied from the 20 exponential. We are up from Friday all the way up. We're at 2.2%. We're having a little bit of pullback at this point, but it is looking fairly good. The only warning sign really here is the RSI. We are at 75 in the RSI in for the NASDAQ, and that means that we're quite significantly overbought. So we could expect a pullback, a minor pullback towards the 20 exponential on Monday, or uh, no, on Tuesday session, um, and then rally. So this number is fairly high. I don't think that we're going to break these previous highs while the RSI is this, this high. So we may have a little bit of pullback and then go higher. But these pullbacks are buying opportunities at this point. So if you look at the other te technical indicators, the stochastic has turned around, MACD is basically turning around, and uh, our CCI is basically flat at this point. So the 20 exponential moving average, that is basically the bottom of this market. Every time we get close to that, that is basically a buying opportunity. So if we take out these previous highs at 12,700, that means that we are heading towards 13,000. So let's look at Netflix, which has rallied significantly today. We're all basically at the top here at this previous highs. So 521. If you manage to take out these previous highs, then we're heading all the way up to these previous, uh, the all time highs of 573. But we are going to see pullbacks. At this point, we are the the Netflix stock is um, overbought. We're at 71. However, the technical indicators are looking really nice for Netflix stock. So we may have a pullback towards the 50 and then rally again. We need to get this number lower before in order to get enough momentum to the upside. But pullback towards the 50, uh, 50 moving average are buying opportunities. The very lows of this market are the 150 moving average, which is at 485 at this point. So let's look at Microsoft. So there has been a little bit of life in this stock. We went all the way down to the bottom on Friday session. And today we have rallied all the way up towards uh, 216. We have given some of those gains back. We're at 215 at this point. But technical indicators are turning around for Microsoft stock. So we may see this rally above these previous highs. There is a lot of room to the upside. So this is just to hold. And if we manage to break these previous highs here, then there's nothing that basically is preventing from this stock from going to 25, uh, 225 and probably to the all-time highs. So Apple has pulled back a little bit today. Um, 20 exponential is the bottom of this market at this point. $120 uh, a share is basically where you could buy this um, the stock. And the target at this point is, first of all, here at the 200, no, 125 and then towards 137. Um, no interest is basically selling this, even though we have minor pullbacks. So pullbacks are basically buying opportunities at this point. Technical indicators are looking, well, fairly dim at this point um, because we are overbought. We are at 75, so we could see a pullback towards the 20 exponential. That is basically a buying opportunity. And even better, if we fell towards the 50 uh, moving average, then that's even better buying opportunity for Apple stock. So let's look at Amazon. So we have rallied all the way towards the 50 moving average, and we have found quite a lot of resistance there. If we manage to break above the 50 moving average and trade above that, then we will target 3,257, then towards 3,377, and then to these all-time highs. We are quite low in the RSI, so there's a lot of room to the upside. 
The other indicators are about to cross their signal lines, indicating bullish momentum. So there's a very good chance that we are going to break above the 50 moving average tomorrow. So I'm definitely a buyer in Amazon stock. The lows of this market are the 50, 150 moving average at uh, 3,035. Uh, so let's look at Tesla. Tesla has yet again rallied again today. So we are trading at 3,638 uh, and uh, the very highs here at 3,655. Uh, um, at this point, we may go higher. We are not overbought yet, but Stochastic has turned around quite aggressively. And um, the RSI is flat at this point, MACD is flat, and, uh, and uh, CCI is also flat. So momentum is not really to the upside at this point. A pullback towards the 20 exponential is roughly 9, 9%, and that is a major buying opportunity. People are buying the stock no matter what, even though the company is... Um, uh, um, a company is a stock is significantly overvalued at this stage, so they're buying anyway. And as long as that is the case, there is money to be made. So let's look at Facebook. Facebook has rallied all the way up towards the 20 exponential moving average and then gave most of those gains back. We're trading at the 40 exponential at the moment at the 275, and the very low lows of this market is basically the 100 moving average. So it is still possible to uh, to trade this and buy into this because that uh, the 100 moving average will be absolutely enormous uh, support in this market so the closer we get to 269 the basically the better buying opportunity these technical indicators are still looking fairly bearish but they are turning around you can just see the stochastic is going to turn like this and head momentum to the upside so we need to take out these previous highs at 287 in order to get to 297 in order to get to the all-time highs. So I'm definitely a buyer in this market. This is a stock that is guaranteed going to go higher. So let's look at Google. Google has given back some of these gains. We're trading at the 20 exponential moving average at 1770. Um, technical indicators are looking fairly dim at this point. But I don't think that we're going lower than the 40 exponential. So 1729 uh, is the bottom of this market. Underneath that, we have the 50, so there's a lot of support underneath. The very highs are at 1847. And um, at this point, it's probably going to take some time before we go uh, back to those, uh, those levels. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you get access to all our signal services, our live trades, and our full technical analysis. So, good luck and thank you very much.